What is going on, jumpers? In this jumper up tutorial, we're gonna cover the Mick release, which is a skill where you let go of the rope and then catch it again. There's actually three main ways to let go of the rope. The first is a pop Mick, where you place the handle on your wrist and pop it into the air. There's also the rope toss Mick, where you basically just throw the rope up into the air. And then there's the wrist Mick, where you release the rope lower than your turning hand. You need a different releasing method depending on the combo you're doing and the rope that you're using. This is part two of a three-part series where I break down all of these variations for you. In this video, we're going to cover the rope toss mic. I'm going to give you the main tips, things to avoid an actual progression to help you learn this skill. If your goal is to become an efficient jumper and continually level up your skills over time, then this tutorial is for you. All right, let's get started. Before trying the rope toss mic, you just need to know how to do a basic side swing while jumping. Now the rope toss mic or rope throw mic is where your releasing hand moves away from your body as you chuck it up into the air. You can do this with any rope, but it's best with long handle ropes. Before we get into the details though, just a heads up that I have a free 14 day kickstart for beginners. The kickstart is a free course where I cover everything you need to know as a new jumper, including all the proper gear, all the beginner freestyle and footwork skills you need to know, weekly warmups and cool downs, and a bunch more. There's over 30 full length modules to help set you up for the rest of your jump rope journey, no matter what style of jumping you choose. And it is free because getting started correctly with jump rope should not cost you an arm and a leg. You can sign up over at natekg.com forward slash kickstart, and there's also a link in the description below. All right, back to the mic. The rope toss feels like pulling a tissue out of a tissue box, so you'll also see it referred to as the tissue box release. If you're doing this on the left side of your body, your left arm will move away from your body and let go of the rope. If you're doing this on the right side of your body, it's gonna be your right hand that moves away from the body and releases the rope. And even though you'll be letting go of the rope, you still wanna make sure the rope clicks the ground during that first swing. Each core mic release variation is actually a three count combo that starts with a side swing, then the release, and then a single under when you catch the rope. When you release the rope, you only wanna give it enough energy to lift up into the air. So as the rope starts to move up after the side swing, release and pull it up slightly. This is gonna feel like suddenly pulling a tissue right out of a tissue box. Again, this release tends to work best with long handle ropes, but you can and should try this with all styles of jump ropes. Now, once you get the rope up into the air, you wanna focus on drawing a circle with your hand, making sure that you rotate your wrist. Your hand can move around, but think about using your wrist to control the rope, then bring your turning arm back down as you catch the rope. Remember to catch as you're lifting for the single under. There's also a few things that you really wanna avoid. Don't wait too long to throw the rope. If you do, it's very likely that you're gonna end up with an excessive wrist flick. This can make it harder to transition between different mix styles, so make sure you're just giving the rope enough energy to stay up in the air. And don't release the rope too early because it will most likely go straight to the ground. Don't try to spin the rope aggressively with your releasing hand. You just need to lift the rope up into the air and then your turning hand should take care of the spin. You also don't wanna to do two mic rotations. You wanna focus on doing just one at a time and don't let your turning hand freeze as you're spinning the mic. All right, let's get into how to practice the rope toss mic. The first step is to understand how to turn the rope with one hand. So we'll do some horizontal spins. And if you already did this drill in part one of this series, you can skip this progression. But if you haven't done that yet, we're gonna put one handle down to the ground and then do two or three really big arm movements to get the rope turning horizontally. And if you're turning with your left hand, rotate counterclockwise. And if you're turning with your right hand, turn the rope clockwise. It's important to make sure that you only have one big loop. After you do a couple of large arm movements to get the rope moving, use your wrist to gently maintain the movement with some slight upwards tension. After that, we're gonna practice getting into the right hand placement. So we'll do a standing swing and stop with your hands in the rope toss position. Watch them, make sure you're only doing the side swing and don't skip this step because this needs to be right in order to move on. Once you're getting that, we're gonna go for a standing mic release, catching the rope into a toe catch. This is where you're gonna spend most of your time. Go slowly and really focus on when you're releasing the rope. You're gonna miss the catch a lot of times and that is very, very normal. This skill is all about putting in enough reps to get the feel for the rotation. So just keep doing it again and again and again until it starts to click. After you do start to feel comfortable catching the rope, you wanna immediately try jumping during the whole mic. This means doing a small bound on the swing, and the release and then catching into a single under. This is probably gonna feel like you're starting to learn the mic all over again and that's okay. Stick with it and make sure that you're matching the three count rhythm. 
So that is it for part two. We're going to be covering the wrist mic variation in part three. Don't forget to sign up for my free beginner program if you're new to jump rope. And if you want more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there are a lot more coming in the future. If you have any questions at all, drop a comment down below or DM me over on Instagram at Nate underscore KG. Thank you.